Hello students, how are you doing? Welcome to another video section of our teaching. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Pal uh, Palace of Autism. Thank you very much. Okay, in our last class, we were talking about uh, simple farm implements. So we stopped at number four, which is shovel. I showed you the difference between shovel and spade. So today we will continue from where we stopped in our last class. So today we are going to look at um, hand trowel. Hand trowel. Let's describe it first before I show you the sample. Now, hand trowel consists of a curved heart shaped metal blade with a short wooden or metal handle. This handle is held with one hand when being used. So it consists of a curve. You can see, look at the sample in my hand. It said it consists of a curved, what? Heart shaped metal blade. Can you see it? So it, it looks like a heart shape a bit. Is that taken? And it, do, it, it does what? With a wooden or metal handle. It can either have a wooden, like this my owner has a wooden handle. It can also have a metal handle as the case may be. And it is held with one hand when using it. So you can see that it's very short. You can see that it's very short. So we use one hand to handle it when being used. So let us look at the uses. And the first point you have is that it's used for transplanting young seedlings. So it is used to transplant young seedlings to the garden where you want them to be planted. Like, for example, like your okra, you can use it to what? Transplant your crops. Then it is used for light weeding. Like we said, we use hope for weeding, right? We can also use this one for light weeding. In vegetable birds, you get it not heavy with you, just small, small with you, so just remove it. Then it is used for mixing manure with garden soil. So, when you have your manure, you can use your um, hand trowel to mix it up with the soil. Is that taken? Then it is used for carrying little sand and cement for minor repairs. Let's say in your farm buildings or your farm state or anywhere that is cracked, you can still use this hand trowel to carry little sand or cement to do minor repairs. Is that a thing? Now, most of you have seen those people that do uh, that build houses. That particular thing they carry to cement to plaster the building. Is what is natural. Is that it? So the next um, farm implement we are going to look at is the rake. The rake. Let's describe it. It has a long wooden or metal handle with a narrow rectangular blade which terminates in about 10 to 12 prongs. It is held with two hands when use during standing. So this is a sample of what rake looks like. So you can see it. it is what? It has a long or wooden metal, wooden handle. Look at it. This is the this my owner has a wooden handle. So the most common ones have a metal handle. Can you see it? Okay. It also has a narrow blade which terminates in about 10 to 12 fronts. So look at the fronts. This is my fronts here. Yeah, this little space at the front. This my owner is not too much. But normally, the normal ones I have is up to 12 or 10 or 11 as the case may be. So it is held with two hands when being used. So when you are using your ring, you use two hands on like the hand trowel, which you use one hand to handle. 
Now, what is it used for? It is used for land preparation for planting. So when you are finished weeding and you want to start planting, you can use the weed to do it, to prepare your land before for planting. Then it is used to remove stones and weeds from the planting area by giving it a fine surface. Yes, you can use this, your rake, to clear out those tiny stones or big, big stones there. Yeah? And you can also use it to remove your weeds to give you a very fine surface for planting. Then it is used in breaking down large soil pods into smaller or fine particles which are easily worked on. So when you have, let's say, large cuts of sand, you can easily use your rake to break it up. And it is used to gather grasses, which is used for mulching. Of course, after uh, weeding, you use it to gather the weeds in one place. And the weeds can be used for mulching. So having seen that, we move to the next one, which is the garden fork. The garden fork. It has similar handle like a spade, but terminates in a four or five metal prongs, called thing, and a wooden handle. So you can see uh, the way the garden fork looks like. Hope you can see it very well. They said it has the same handle, just like the handle of a spade. You get it. Okay, and it has four to five prongs. Why that of rake has up to ten to twelve? But well, this one is just two. The most most the most ones you see is even three or four, as the case may be. My owner has four. My sample here has four. Now, what is it used for? Garden for? It is used for tilling and loosening the soil. It is used for tilling and loosening the soil. Then it is used for uprooting of little stones. So this hand, you can also use two hands to handle it. Sorry, I didn't mention that. Thing. You use two hands to handle the garden floor. So you can use it to remove or to uproot little stones. That is after weeding. Those little um, those little bones on the land, you can use your hand for to open it out. Then it is used in turning compost manure in compost. Food. So this one you can use it to turn your compost manure in your compost pit or heap. Then it is used in spreading of manure on the beds or ridges. So when you have added your manure in your planted pot, you use this pot this garden for to spread it around the cross. Then the next one, it is used for carrying compost material. So you can use the garden for to carry your compost manure to where you want to use it in. Is that a thing? So we'll stop here for today. In our next class, we'll continue from where we stopped. Thank you very much. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much.